Hi, welcome to Elmhurst Library's Kids DIA Book Suggestions. DIA stands for Diversity in Action. We encourage you to take action and read books that include a wide range of diverse kids and stories. Each month, we'll share new titles so you can read diverse books throughout the year. As Dr. Rudine Sims Bishop said, books serve as windows, mirrors, and sliding glass doors for readers to see themselves and others and to imagine and enter into new connections and new ways of thinking and being. We encourage you to read any of these or other diverse books that spark your interest, and then to send us your own video review. You can go to the EPL web link included in this video's description to get started creating your own YouTube book review. Thanks for watching and reading Yasmin the Painter by Sadia Faruqi. Meet Yasmin, a spunky second grader with a loving family. Yasmin is nervous about the art competition coming up at school this year. Can she finish her art project in time? And how will it turn out? Find out in this fun book for early readers. Learn fun facts about Pakistan and some Urdu words. You'll enjoy getting to know Yasmin in this book and others in the series. Check them out. Pedro's family is spending the day with their friends at an amusement park. Everyone's having a wonderful time until Pedro's brother Paco gets lost. Can a ride on the Ferris wheel lead Pedro back to Paco? Find out in Pedro on Top of the World by Fran Manushkin. Mia Mayhem is a Superhero by Kara West. Can you imagine getting an invitation to join the program for in-training superheroes? Mia can't believe it either when her letter arrives, but sure enough, her parents have been through the training too. There are tests to take and things to figure out. What will her superpower turn out to be? To find out more about Mia and the start to her superhero life, check out Mia Mayhem is a Superhero. Power Forward by Henna Khan. If you love basketball, you know how important it is to make the top team. For Zayed Salim, that's his dream. He wants to make it to the NBA someday, but his parents have other dreams for Zayed. And to them, practicing violin is more important than practicing layups. When Zayed is grounded for, from basketball right before fourth grade basketball tryouts, how can he make his own dream happen? If you're a hoop dreamer, check out Power Forward. Julia and Patrick always work together on a project for the state fair. This year, they're having a hard time coming up with the idea that pleases them both. When Julia's mother suggests they raise silkworms as she did when she grew up in Korea, Patrick embraces the idea wholeheartedly. Julia is not so happy though. Raising silkworms doesn't fit with the all-American projects usually found at the fair. As a member of the only Korean family in town, she's uncomfortable drawing attention to her ethnicity. And the project isn't easy. Just where will they find the mulberry leaves the silkworms require as food? Find out more when you read Linda Sue Park's Project Mulberry. I Can Make This Promise by Christine Day. Edie enjoys her life in Seattle. She doesn't know much about her Native American ancestors since her mom was adopted and raised by a white family. But when Edie finds a mysterious box of letters and pictures in the attic, she begins to have lots of questions about what her family's past really looked like. Why won't her mom give her straight answers? Enjoy this compelling book of personal discovery. Check out I Can Make This Promise. Being 12 isn't easy, especially when you're never been. 
Neva is confused by all the changes taking place around her. Her best friend Jamila is getting all kinds of attention. Her brother Clayton is becoming an activist. And mom and dad are gone working again. Granddad and Nana aren't much help either with their old ways and backwards views. Neva struggles to find her place in a world that is always shifting around her in her West Philadelphia neighborhood. She has so many unanswered questions. Neva is left with what comforts her most, words and their meanings, which she chronicles herself. While the pages of her beloved dictionary re reveal truths about what's happening around her, Neva must discover the best way to define herself. Find out the true definition of Neva being by Christine Kendall. 12-year-old Anna Marie Jin, the reigning U.S. juvenile figure skating champion, is not a frilly dress kind of kid. So when Anna learns that next season's program will be princess themed, doubts form fast. Still, Anna tries to focus on training and putting together a stellar routine worthy of national success. Once Anna meets Hayden, a transgender boy new to the rink, Thoughts about the princess program and gender identity begin to take center stage. And when Hayden mistakes Anna for a boy, Anna doesn't correct him and finds comfort in this boyish identity when he's around. As their friendship develops, Anna realizes it's tricky juggling two different identities on one slippery sheet of ice. And with a major competition approaching, Anna must decide whether telling everyone the truth is worth risking years of hard work and sacrifice. Find out what Anna does in Anna on the Edge by A.J. Sass. One lie snowballs into a full-blown double life in this story about an aspiring stand-up comedian. On the outside, Yumi Chung suffers from hashtag shy girl problems, but on the inside, Yumi is ready for her Netflix stand-up special. Her notebook is filled with mortifying memories that she's reworked into comedy gold. All she needs is a stage and some courage. One day, Yumi stumbles on an opportunity that will change her life. A comedy camp for kids taught by one of her favorite YouTube stars. The only problem is that the instructor and all the students think she's a girl named Kei Nakamura, and Yumi doesn't correct them. As this case of mistaken identity unravels, Yumi must decide to stand up and reveal her truth or risk losing her dreams and disappointing everyone she cares about. Find out what she does in Stand Up Yumi Chung by Jessica Kim. Mm -hmm.